Yeah, he said he was in a taxi at first just to check. You gotta be kidding me. Wow. That's fire control. Good that job. is amazing. I got, I got that on video. You can do that. Well, of course. I know he could. I know I can. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be behind it. That was a short takeoff from when he really got on you, it. You don't have to get on. Really? He no. wasn't even at full throttle. No, he, about half the throttle. Oh my god. As I say, you don't have to use full I'm power really not worried about this at all. And I <laughs> Oh my god, well done. What do you think, Luke? <laughs> That's a sweet machine. <laughs> Feeling a little movement going on there. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. I had goosebumps there. That was sweet. Well, awesome. Oh, now the now the now the show begins. I just, I just like the idea of it because of Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah. That was quick. Long as shit. That's why everything just yeah. took yeah. really off and ripped it off. Yeah. It's like, it's like Right. Luke, you got a good one. Super smooth, tons of power. I was neutral on the uh, glider and there's no torque. Felt great. Felt super good. Great place to fly, by the way. You see all the deer stands and there's deer everywhere. I want to go out for a longer flight. It would be really fun. Well, Luke, there she is. Looks smooth. Uh, got a name for it yet? So it, uh, I get as good as you inviting it. Yeah. I got. I can't believe it. What? You have a lot of talent. Incredible amount of talent. I, when you did this 
this 180 down here, and yeah. I was like, I was like, oh Christ, get out the get out the fiberglass ladders. He's gonna hook in the wires, you know. And, and then I appeared. <laughs> and, and then, then you, he were, I was like, I was like, wow, he missed the wires. Oh, we're all jealous <laughs> down here. <It's> <laughs> oh yeah, it's very, very much so. Then you go down here, and I was like, he's never gonna do that again. That was just luck. Now, if you fall for, you're gonna fly. This guy knows what he's doing. Yeah, amazing. Training training and up you don't know what you can do unless you try, right? I, my, 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 hat, my hat's off to you. That's, 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 that's an incredible feat. Just an incredible. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, okay. Two, three and it's too bad so. because that was kind of that kind of talent can't be showcased. If I fly to Ashra, you know, that is that is absolutely amazing. And this is a tough strip. I mean, it's a it's a it's a challenging strip. It's a little bumpy, but it it's great. I appreciate you letting us come here. you bet. And next brand new glider as well. So I'll taxi first to make sure that the brakes and all feel well. I'll look over and check all the lines or look up and check all the lines. Right now I'm gonna set the glider so it's a neutral blue on both tabs. I'll fly around and feel what the torque feels like on it. It's a 42 square meter core tandem. I'm a little bit light on it, but most of the customers will not be. I weigh about 160 measly pounds. Pure muscle, of course. We adjusted the CG in the simulator already. That should be good. Though the thrust line can affect the CG in flight, um, but look at all these adjustments we have so I can land and fine tune her, so to speak. So the next thing is, is a big thing is I'm gonna go to the center of the glider. I'm gonna pull the center of the glider out until the center A's are taut. Not only does that bring the glider up in a smoother, uh, fashion so to speak it brings it up from the center thus not allowing the tips to really dictate to the glider whether to stall on one side and pull the glider to that side or stall to the other side and pull the glider to that side so this is a pretty cool deal this is what you want to do even for foot launch it helps clean them up a little bit. What I like is the electronic cigarettes over there tells me whether the no wind, wind has changed or not. No wind says the e-cig. Oh, you got Yeah, yeah. We're we're flying. Flying. a week to go. A week, oh, to go. A week or two. Depends on it's going to let me up. Yeah. Mike Gambrell at the Blackhawk booth. Mike, how was your experience at EAA so far? Good so far. How are you, Mark? I don't know. I'm getting a little bit of motion sickness right. here. <laughs> oh, and there's Heidi. Welcome, Heidi. Tell us about day one. Day one was quite interesting, Mark. Is you know. <laughs> it was awesome. Day one started off with a actually a sale. 
A sale on a bank. Yeah, sale on a bank. No, two sales because I had one phone back home on the road. Oh, okay. Good day so far. You do the selling, yeah. I'll do the bank. <laughs> It's not bad, it's kind of a, uh, it's like a heavy backpack that goes down a little further on the legs, you know? Sweet. Looks good. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna get, you gotta get two so you can fly together though, yeah. right? Oh, his and hers. Yeah, his and hers. His and hers. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Alright, Desmond, what's going on there today? So you're looking at the Black Bee 125 and you want to get into doing acro? Looking for it, yes. Like professional acro, you're gonna be on the Paradigm team? I don't know if I'm going to go that far with this, but <laughs> somebody throw the sponsor out, maybe. Sweet, man. It's the Corsair 125 carbon fiber cowling, carbon fiber air box, acro arms. His fan support team right here. Here it is, Monday, day one. We got paramotors everywhere. Beautiful, perfect night for it. And a big crowd of people watching. Look at this, these people are sweet. Here at the booth, Luke, tell us a little about our, uh, yourself. I'm not legally allowed to do that. Well, thanks again, Luke. Thanks for having me. Fly one of these with your dad? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I would. He says you have a sister. Is she uh, into it too? She could be. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. So, you guys follow this girl because I got a feeling that she's going to be flying one of these <laughs> things pretty soon. What do you think about uh, the conditions this evening? They look awesome. Um, I wish I was flying. In fact, I probably should fly. <laughs> I don't know. I'll just probably wait it out and fly the air show then. So. Nice. Well, it's awesome getting to watch you the show. But what our job here is tonight is to make sure that everybody gets off the ground safe. And anybody that doesn't, we'll help them out. Yes, sir. Teamwork. What does this thing do? Is that the ejector seat? Yeah, that's yeah. the ejector seat. So you pull that, the whole harness shoots you up into your wing. The engine just drops right off the back. <laughs> Innovation here at EAA 2019. Oh, yeah. And the kids don't need that thing anymore, right? That's right. How was the air today? Bumpy. But it was still way better than I'm flying, so. No complaints. <laughs> 